guys? We are back with a video here, and this video is going to be the best fantasy hockey cards to invest in, alright? So I know not everybody can afford to invest in these cards, so I have a, a bunch of different ranges, like 100k, there's some cards that are 200k, 300k, even 700k, so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Again, it's not for everybody, I, I probably understand that a lot of you guys can't afford these cards, but if you guys do enjoy, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and let's hop into the video. With the first card here, we got Jacob Chikrin, alright? So Chikrin's going for a nice amount of coins here. So he's going for around 600,000 coins here, and he's a 6'2", 220 pound left-handed defenseman. So why am I a believer in him right here? That's the question. Well, Jacob Chikrin is on the Senators, right? He's kind of like their main defenseman now. Shabbat's out as well, so he's going to be getting even more ice time, I'm sure. Uh, and he already has four goals this year. He has four goals in eight games. That is uh, pretty insane if you think about it. So four goals in eight games... And yeah, he will be uh, he will be going up a lot probably. Uh, pretty much when he's healthy, he scores a lot of goals. So uh, in the last full season, not even full season really, 56 game season in 2021, he had 18 goals. Uh, in 21-22, he had seven and 47. 22-23, he had nine and about 50. So he he scores. I mean, he he really does. That's a that's the thing about Chikrin. He will score goals. Uh, he's got to stay healthy. That's the tricky part. So maybe it could be a little bit risky to invest in him. But if you invest in him, you gotta really kind of hope that he stays healthy. That's kind of the the main I guess critique to it, critique with him. I mean, overall, other than that. Uh, he's uh, he's excellent. He really would be a great card. Hopefully he does go. Hopefully he scores a lot of goals because I think he'd be a really really good one uh, to go up. 190 left-handed defenseman. Uh, yet another uh, another defenseman here. A lot of lefty defensemen here. Uh, but two-way defenseman and acceleration boost. He's got silver wheels on him too. Uh, already is actually not that bad of a card. As funny as that sounds. I mean, E6 Excel and E5 Speed. I mean, scores a few more goals. I mean, he's like making that my lineup if I if I had him. I don't know. But Byron's like basically over 300k right now. Uh, and again, it's not not too bad. I feel. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a lot for sure. But uh, the thing about Byron, the same thing as Chikrin, guys, staying healthy. What what do they do? Like pick uh, injury prone players on purpose here? It's kind of what it seems like. But Bowen Byram, guys, uh, he's such a great young defenseman. He had ten goals last year in forty two games. So. He can score. I mean, he can definitely score. You just got to hope he kind of gets on that pace again, right? I mean, that's that's pretty good. I mean, 42 games played and a 77 uh, overall right now. But uh, again, he gets hot. You know, all you got to do is got to get hot, right? He scores. Oh, wow. Scores a goal. 79. Scores a goal. 81. Scores three goals in like five games. Boom. He's an 80, 83. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy uh, how quickly it can go up, right? And then he's an 83. You're like, wow. Like every game after that, like every goal is huge. It could be an 85. Then he's an 87. Then an 89. Then a 91. Like it... As a defenseman, I feel like the defensemen are more fun to invest in because if they score, it's more impactful. It's a plus two every time. So that's why I like the defensemen to invest in more so than anything. But uh, Byram's an excellent card to definitely invest in. I, I really, really think it's a, it's a smart one. Shea Theodore, who I have personally invested in. I bought him yesterday for 350,000 coins. Oh, I actually bought him on Saturday. Sorry, I should say. And then I saw on Sunday he was going for under 300, but now he's back to around 350. So... Uh, these fancy cards, they definitely are very volatile. They definitely do, uh, you know, change in price pretty often. But 6'2", 197, left-handed defenseman again. Two-way defenseman. He's got shooting boost here. All right. Uh, then he got silver elite edges. But Theodore, another one, guys. Same thing. If he can just stay healthy, he is going to put up the numbers. He really is. Such a great player. Uh, Shea Theodore in his career here. Uh, looking back at it, Shea Theodore puts up great numbers. He scored eight goals last year at 55 games. The last full season he played was 78 games played. He had 14 goals. He's basically good for at least over 10 goals pretty much when he plays a full season, basically just being healthy, right? So kind of hope that's the thing with Theodore. Hopefully he does stay healthy this season. It's just kind of a, a fluke few years of him being injured. Uh, but overall, I mean, I think Theodore uh, would be an absolutely good card here uh, to, to definitely go up. And hopefully he does. I mean, right now he's a 78 because it has not upgraded. He actually just recently scored. He has three goals already this year in nine games played. So uh, definitely off to a great start so far. Got Rasmus Sandin, Sandin here. And here's why I'm interested in him. So he's going for around 200K right now. So it's an MSP fantasy going for 200K, which is crazy to think about. But I take a flyer on him. And why do I say that? Well, you got to think the Capitals, you know, they don't score that much. They're having offensive issues. 
someone's got to score on that team, right? Just logically. Sandine, the most goals he ever had was seven, uh, and that was in the 22-23 season. Actually, sorry, he had 10. He had 10 last year, my bad. He had 10 goals last year um, in, uh, in a good amount of games. He did. Uh, but, like, again, it just depends on uh, exactly... Oh, no, sorry, he had seven. He had seven. He had seven last year. Seven goals in... In 71 games played there, it's tough, right? I mean, seven, that doesn't sound amazing. But funny enough, though, I mean, you know, listen, if he if he actually, he'd be up to a 94 overall. So, I mean, you got to think he's going to get more ice time. Uh, so far, he has no goals, no assists. That's got to break at some point. But just take a flyer on him. I'm not saying, I'm not saying 100% invest in him, but he's someone that I consider. Uh, if you have 200k, and you're like, eh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll think about. It. Again, if if I'm you, if I'm you guys, make sure if you have a million coins, I'm not saying dump all your coins into fancy hockey cards. Don't do that, all right? If you have a lot of extra coins, just feel like whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll open. I'll take one. Like I had 600k, so I was like, oh, you know what? I'll buy Theodore for 350. Why not? I'll still have 200k after. Might as well go for it. But yeah, that's what that's what I'm doing. So there's Sandine. I got my man Lino Martichini. Now this guy is uh, is one that I really think uh, could be a very funny one. But I feel like people don't realize that this guy could certainly go up and he can go up really quickly. And the why the reason why I say that is because he's already off to a really really hot start here. So yes, he is five six. I am certainly understanding that. I do. But but the big but here is. He's off to a great start. So he's on pace for 26 goals right now. He has nine goals and 18 games played. Uh, and again, already a 79 overall. No matter what, I mean, again, he has 86 speed with synergies boosted. No matter what, uh, he can certainly be a very fast, good card. Even if he's undersized, especially if it's like early enough in the year where he's like a, a good card. Say he's like a 93 overall and it's like December, late December. Uh, you know, that'd be kind of crazy if he had that many, but you know what I mean? Like he could be a guy that certainly goes up quicker than you'd think. Uh, again, he's on pace for 26 goals right now. So, uh, I mean, basically do the math. He's going to probably be a 99 at that point. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's off to a great start here and uh, I think he'd be a good one to potentially invest in. He's only got 150,000 coins too. So to me, it's not, not crazy at all. Tara So 770,000 coins right now. Tara had a hat trick actually, which is funny, really funny. First day he gets his card, he gets a hat trick. So he's going to be an 83 overall, 5'11", 191. He's got gold third eye and silver buck on a string. I'm going to be honest. I don't love those abilities on him. That's the only maybe like, I guess, gripe I have, uh, with this card. But I mean, he's he's gonna probably be a 99. He's probably gonna be the first 99. Let's be real. He's on pace to do it already. 83 overall. Uh, that to me is uh, is very funny. Uh, and I, I think he's again he should be able to do it. He really should. I mean, I, I would be stunned if he didn't. Uh, because I mean, I guess he get he get hurt. Hopefully he doesn't. But Tara Vinen, uh and on that Hurricanes team, they're a great team. That helps as well. Uh, so last year, he had 12 goals in 68 games played. Uh, really, really rough year last year. But now he has seven goals in nine games. So that's that's funny, right? Go figure, right? That, that's how that's all how it all takes sometimes in this in this league. Right? But he's been always a 20-goal scorer for the most part. So uh, kind of a down year last year. Had to think he's going to bounce back this year. So far, he has. And I just keep it up at the end of the day. So we'll see if he can do that. At least we got Drew Doughty, all right? So Drew Doughty here, uh, he's, again, he's another one. Like, all of a sudden, he's starting to score goals again. Again. It's almost like these guys know they get fancy cards and they just start like performing. That's that's kind of what it feels like a little bit. Like I know that sounds stupid to say probably, but it actually generally does feel that way, which is crazy. But Drew Doughty, guys, he has four goals in eight games so far. He had nine all of last year. Uh, so right now he is up to, I believe he is up to a 84 overall, which is crazy. He's up to an 84 overall now, Doughty already, which is nuts. So yeah, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna see uh, how it goes, but that, that's gonna be insane. I mean, Dowdy actually had his X factor at one point, but Dowdy could certainly be a guy that can do it. His career high is 14. I mean, it's uh, could be could be this year. He gets a career high. You'll figure right at age 33. You never know, right? But to me, those are the best cards to invest in and have right now uh, when it comes to fancy hockey. I mean, I might make another one of these videos in maybe a, a month or so, but uh, we'll go from there. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please. Make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And join a Discord, talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. I'll see you guys all in the next video.